So, Driven by Moss version 8.70 is out there both for Bitwig and for Reaper. I just did a video explaining the new features with Bitwig, but they are absolutely the same for Reaper, so I will not repeat that. Instead, I will link down there in the notes also the video so you can watch that too. I just want to show you for Reaper some changes and additions I did in configuration dialog for Driven by Moss. I I cleaned it up a little bit on the right side so you will see there is a new button called debug. Under that button I put in the, the refreshing of the data in case you would need it for testing. The debug dialog for disable some updates in case you run into performance issues. And something that's really funny, I put in a device simulator. For that you will get a simulator user interface for each of your controls. So if you open up that, for example, you see here the full user interface of the Push 2 device and you can also use it, for example, you can play something here and you can use all the buttons of the device as well and it's mainly intended for me for testing if I don't have the controller with me so you can work on this extension as well but if maybe for example if you have a convertible uh, device which has touch support you can also use this with touch and this could also come in handy. Uh, that's for example the push but there is also for the other devices so let's have a look at the Mackie control. Here you also have even two for an extender because I added the one version with the extender and you can also run that one which might also come in handy if you have a touch uh, monitor with you. Very short video but don't forget to make some funky music.